Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to Scents of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video. So I got a quick little list for you guys today. And what I wanted to talk about are four alternatives to some vintage classic discontinued fragrances. So the discontinued fragrances that I picked for this video are ones that I've talked about before on the channel a lot, and you'll probably recognize them from past videos, and not only on my channel, but on, on, on several other people's. So I, what I wanted to bring you are some alternative choices that you can still get, or that are easier to find, and obviously less expensive than these discontinued classic men's fragrances. So before we jump into the list, if it's your first time here and first time watching the channel and you enjoy the type of content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the page. It really helps my channel out. We are on our way to 10,000. And again, I'm very grateful to all of you who choose to watch and of course, absolutely subscribe. Um, if you have an Instagram, check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, daily scent of the day, story post, and you'll figure out you know when the, when the latest videos are gonna drop. Um, if you have a TikTok, check out my TikTok. It's not fragrance related, but you know, you'll see what it is when you get there. It's Sabro88. If you have a TikTok, go follow. And also, as I've been saying, guys, check out my Mercari page. Um, I've had a lot of people find some discontinued vintage fragrances on there that I've talked about on my channel. Things are on there that I'm listing for sale. You can buy it directly from my collection. Uh, I'm just not wearing this stuff anymore, and I'd rather somebody else enjoy it too. Um, these allow me to get new fragrances in as I trade and or sell things. Um, and that allows me to you know, obviously create new videos too. So before we waste any more time, let's get ready to check out these four alternatives to classic discontinued men's fragrances. Okay, the first fragrance that I'm gonna talk about is um, from 1971 from the House of Yves Saint Laurent. This is YSL Pour Homme or Pour Homme by YSL. So this is that citrus aromatic, but it's got this like skankiness to it, this dirtiness to the citrus. It's, it's such an amazing scent. Very hard to find, and it is very um, expensive too, especially in its vintage form. The square bottles are also pricey, and they're also discontinued too. So um, why YSL decided to axe this one is beyond me. So there's a fragrance that you can take a look at. Um, it actually came out three years later, 1974. It's from the house of Loewe. It is Loewe Pour Homme. And as you can see, you know, look at the juice color. It's virtually identical. This one will get you there. It's got that citrus opening. Uh, let's spray some in the air here. And what I noticed the most about it is it's got that bitterness and it's got that dirtiness to it. And it's sort of similar, a little bit more of a leathery tinge hit to this one than, than in YSL Pour Homme. But this definitely has that dirty citrus and it is an awesome alternative. And you can get this five ounce bottle. I got this for like 55 bucks. Granted, that was last year. Maybe it's a little bit more, but it's significantly less money than the YSL Pour Homme and it's still available. And it's gonna get you to, I would in the imagine, you know, realm of 90% of, of what it smells like. And it's just a high quality fragrance. The house in general is really good. Essentia, another one I've tried, amazing. That that's like a great alternative to like a, think about if vintage polo had a sport scent that isn't the blue polo sport, you know. But again, Loewe Pour Homme, excellent alternative to YSL's Pour Homme. Okay, the next discontinued fragrance is from the house of Gucci. It's the 1988 Ultimate Aromatic Fougere, Gucci Nobile. So this is, I think, the king of aromatic fougeres. There's nothing more classy high-end smelling, just so clean, so perfect, like out of just to think about the fanciest barbershop you've ever been to in your life. This is it, it's amazing. I have a lot of bottles of this stuff, but it is extremely expensive. I think I started buying mine on the tail end of when the prices just started going up, 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 and up. So I, and a couple of them I just got lucky. Some people accepted offers and, and just were looking to offload them. But again, very hard to find. Not necessarily hard to find, like you can find it, but it's very expensive, let's just put it that way. So sometimes the price might not be worth it to some people. So a great alternative to this is from a niche house and it's from Rogue Perfumery and this is Bon Monsieur. So this is almost dead on the differences. This is gonna be just a little bit lighter. This is a little bit uh, denser and danker. I think maybe because of the higher concentration of ingredients and this is, is this, I don't know if it's an eau de parfum, it probably is. But other than that, they smell so similar. This is such a classy scent. This is uh, Manuel Cross. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. I love Balmoncier. The second I'm done with this, I'm gonna buy another one just to preserve my Gucci Nobile. So um, now on a much less expensive scale, Another alternative is Dracar Noir, you know, 1982. This is a, one of the original aromatic fougeres from the 80s that are just a, a powerhouse. This is actually a vintage bottle, but this stuff 
Don't worry about it being vintage or not. The vintage is not that much different in my experience than the current formulation, maybe a little bit on performance. But um, again, you can go get the current formulation anywhere. They always have it. All the rack stores are online. Get a big six ounce bottle, just spray a lot. It's a little bit more of a deodorant shaving foam type um, mixed in with the green and the oak moss, but it's a clean scent. And it is like a cheap Gucci Nobile if you want to look at it that way. Okay, so the next expensive and discontinued and very sought after fragrance, yet another aromatic fougere, but this one is from 2003, but from a house we've already talked about, this is Yves Saint Laurent's Rive Gauche. So this is what many people consider to be the ultimate barbershop scent. I think there are others that rival that. Like I think this isn't as good as Gucci Nobile, but however, it, it's still an amazing fragrance. This takes that star anise and shave foam to another level. Um, it's extremely smooth, and this is the vintage in the tin can. They came out with a square bottle one too, much like YSL Porome, but everybody talks about this one. The square bottle ones are good. The scent is the same. However, the performance on this one is significantly better. It really is special. It's so light too. Like I remember when I first got this, I got um, two of these in a gift set, um, two separate gift sets, uh, and one I sold. And this one I have too. I've, I haven't even touched this one yet really because I'm using the square one. But um, it's so light because it's a tin can. I'm thinking, Jesus, is this even full? But it, but it is. And it's an extremely amazing scent, but it's hard to find now. And when you do find it, it's going to cost a lot. You're talking 275 plus, sometimes more than that. I've seen some ridiculous pricing where they're 500 or more. Don't ever do that. That's crazy. Um, but you know, I was lucky I got it for 150 for the, for the gift set. And it came with a shower gel and everything. So... Um, there are a few clones to this one. Dua has one called River Fougere. I don't own that, but I hear great things. Um, the clones that I have are the things that are going to be similar to it, something that's going to get you in that realm. First, let's talk about this one. This is uh, from 2011. This is Azaro Pour Ohms Low. And I could have used regular Azaro Pour Ohm because it has that anise note, but that's like a much more rugged and rough one. This one is um, like that. It's got the rougher anise, but it's a little bit rounded out because it has that yuzu, the citrus in it. It's a little bit more of a brighter citrus take on Reeve Gosh. The second one is from a house that's like a wet shaving company. I've talked about this one before, but not often. Fine accoutrements, and they have a scent called American Blend. Now, if you go in for grants, again, a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't smell anything like Reeve Gosh. I think it does. It's just a little bit sweeter, a little bit more candy anise. Um, I think it's, um, obviously, Reeve Gosh is just going to be a little bit higher quality, but this is still good, and it's a 100 ml spray, and it smells nice. I talked about this one. I wore it a lot when I first got it, and then I kind of got shelved because it got lost in the shuffle with collecting and getting fragrances in and out of the collection. But this one is definitely worth checking out, and I think it gets pretty close to Reeve Gosh. Not, not, a, not dead on. Maybe the Duo one is better, but this one, um, it, I think it does a good job, and I just like the Anise note. It's very barbershop-style shave foam. And the next one and final one is probably the cheapest of all these from the house of Pinot Silvestre, and it is Pinot's Black Musk. For more info on this one, I did a whole review, but this one does what Reeve Gosh does with the um, Anise Note, just the cheaper version. I'm going to spray this one on some skin here. It, and it, it has it. It's got that little black licorice note type thing in the, in the opening. It smells like shave foam. It's not really that musky. And usually when fragrances have a black flanker, they're really sweet. This is not. This is very barbershop, but just a much more less expensive one. Um, and they have a full body line you can check out that help with the performance because the performance on it isn't great. So you spray a ton on. You put the aftershave on. They have a soap. They have a body spray. Get all that stuff with this. It smells good, and it is pretty close to a what Reeve Gosh gets you in that realm for pennies on the dollar. Great choice for an alternative. Okay, guys, so the last fragrance that's discontinued, hard to find, that I wanted to talk about, probably the one I've talked about most on my channel out of all the ones that I've mentioned already because I think I've had it the longest out of all these other ones. Um, this one is expensive, it's discontinued, and it's hard to find, and it's very expensive because it's discontinued, obviously. From 1989, this is the Green Beast. Czar from Van Cleef and Arpels. This is just such a crisp, green, woody masterpiece, darker green scent. It smells so good. It sm smells so put together. It's hard to describe how good this one is because other than this, I don't really have any other opinions on the house of any other fragrances except for their poor own, which I don't like. And I've mentioned that a million times, but this stuff is just so amazing. And of course they discontinued it. Who would have thought? So there's a couple different things you can do to get good alternatives from Czar. First, 
and I did a video about this the other day. There is a Dua clone, and I happen to have it. It's called Emperor's Elixir. Very good, very close in the 90 percentile close. Again, because of the higher concentration of fragrance, it's a little danker, a little denser in the beginning. Zara is a little bit more rounded out, but once it dries down, it's very close. Just a creamier version of Zara is what I think I said in that video. Great alternative, 35 bucks, can't go wrong. Next is an Italian fragrance that I love to death. You've seen me talk about it, did a review, did it then and now, vintage versus current. This is a current version of big six ounce bottle. This is Cerruti's 1881. I love this scent. This will take like green aromatic fougere, but with Italian twist on the opening, a little bit more citrus, a little bit more brighter, fresher than the original Zara. Zara's a little bit darker, but it's still in the same family, still in the same realm and a great alternative and it's still being made. Smells good. You can get the vintage version. If you get the vintage version of this, I think it'll still be closer to Czar. Actually, even closer, I should say, because it's a little darker, a little richer, and it's not going to cost you a ton for the vintage. If you can't find it or don't want to bother with it, just get the current version. You can't go wrong with this fragrance ever. It's so good. I love it, and, it, and it's a good alternative to Czar. Um, and I have the most alternatives for this. Next up is going to be a scent from the early 90s. This is from 1993 from the house of Jacques Bogart, and this is Eau Fresh. Um, same thing. I think Jacques Bogart may be trying to keep up with the times, trying to stay relevant with the new wave, new switch of what was considered fresh, kind of coming into the blue aquatics. Uh, because, you know, after this, you had Polo Sport, you had things like Aqua Quorum, and then obviously two years later comes out with uh, Isimiyaki, and then of course Aqua de Joe. But Jacques Bogart never really does things by the book, they do their own thing. And Eau Fresh is a green, bright, but piney fresh scent and it's green it's it's lighter it's a, you know get a little bit lighter than czar but still very green probably the closest aside from the direct clone of all of them to um to czar and you know this is a little bit harder to find not as hard to find as as of course regular czar this is probably discontinued but you can still get bottles in the 50 60 dollar range but it smells so good it's so fresh it's so great i love wearing this in the spring in the summertime because it's green it's super masculine it's old school but it smells so nice and it's a great alternative to Czar. Um, and lastly, this is, um, I believe, an 80 cent too, Jaguar for Men. So Jaguar for Men is a green, bright green scent, um, similar to Czar. Um, it's just a little bit more synthetic smelling, and it's got a note of vanilla, which I think I didn't really pick up until after the fact, but it still smells nice. Think about just like a synthetic, cheaper Czar. That's where Jaguar comes into play. Still green, still good. Good performance for what it is, really cheap. You can get a lot of it for cheap. You can spray a ton on. Smells nice, smells masculine. Just a, you know, I think like a synthetic version. So think about like Eternity, whatever Eternity smells like, whatever the higher end Eternity is, think of Eternity because that's a great scent, timeless scent, smells awesome. I talked about that in a um, What's Good Fragrances in the office setting. And yeah, that's a little synthetic smelling, but it still smells nice. And that's how I feel about Jaguar. I think about a synthetic greener. Um, czar by Van Cleef and Arpels, but still really cheap and easy to get, still being made. All right, guys, that was my video of alternative fragrances to four discontinued expensive classic men's scents from the past. So let me know in the comment section, did you agree with my choices? Do you have other alternatives to the fragrances that I mentioned that you think are better fit? I know there's some out there that I haven't even really tried yet. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section about that. You know I always appreciate all the interaction with you. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to check out the Instagram, the TikTok, and of course check out the Mercari page if you're looking to get some things direct from my collection. I wanted to thank you all for hanging out with me today and watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.